Juno award-winning singer-songwriter Ruth Moody celebrates the release of her latest solo effort, These Wilder Things. Also known from the Waylon Jennies, Ruth has been a busy lady since the release of her debut solo effort, The Garden, and she joins us this morning to tell us all about her latest project. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Last time we chatted was right around the release of The Garden, and right. you were feeling a little apprehensive about going out there on stage, kind of without the other girls, and kind of really being the voice for yourself, have you gotten super comfortable with it? Yeah, I have quite a few more shows under my <laughs> yeah. belt. It's been three years since then, so um, I am feeling more comfortable. I still love playing with the girls. Um, I've been touring with my own band for the last couple of years, and so it's been fun to actually develop um, a show, you know, with a band and become a really tight unit that way. So it's been great. I'm loving it. Well, so busy, like you said, a, a number more shows under your belt mm -hmm. since the garden, of course. And let's talk about the new project. A lot of the songs really intimate. They're very personal encounters. You're such a great storyteller. Thank you. Um, how do you feel that, how important is that when you're a songwriter? I mean, I think you have to write what you know. That's, that's how I approach it. I write what I know and I try and be in, as honest as possible and as true to that process as possible. So you hope you end up with a good story, but, but really it's about honesty for me. And it's so lovely to see that and to hear that when you listen to a record. Um, talk a little bit about the title track off the album. I love that song. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Um, well, that song is an important song for me. It was written in a time where I was realizing just how important it is not to be governed by fear and to, to let go. And I think we all sort of uh, encounter that, that theme in our lives um, at one point or another. So it's, I think it's a, a universal theme that people relate to. The, the song itself is sort of cryptic, I guess, but, um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's personal and, and, uh, and felt like kind of a breakthrough when I wrote it. Really a lovely way to get to know Ruth through her music, of course. Um, and uh, just to maybe borrow some other talented songwriters' words, you did a little cover of Dancing in the Dark, which before I heard, I heard about it, before I heard it, and I couldn't picture it. That was a really interesting choice for a oh, cover. Thanks. Thanks. It's been fun to play. Folkified it. Was it weird to kind of take that song and put your spin on it? No, it felt really natural, actually. Um, it, it was fun to actually turn something so quintessentially 80s on its head and, <laughs> and, and it, it lends itself really well to, to that treatment so we love it. Very cool, must be fun to play with a live band on it stage is. too yeah. for sure. Um, I want to talk a little bit about Mark Knopfler, uh, some great guests, guest appearances on your album, him included, you may know him from Dire Straits and all of his own solo work as well. Um, how has he impacted you and some big stuff that's happening for you in May? Well, um, I actually sang on his record, first of all, uh, last year, so that was a real thrill. Um, and uh, we kept in touch, and I asked him if he would uh, want to play and sing on my record, and so he said yes, and then he invited us to come and, and open for him in Europe for 12 shows. So we're going to be uh, opening for him at the Royal Albert, Albert Hall, and uh, five shows in France and Amsterdam. So Very cool. Some really nice exciting. big venues for you guys yeah. to hit up as well. Yeah. Always delightful. Thank you so Thanks, much Jenna. for joining us. The show is tonight at the West End Cultural Center. Check it out. But first, a song coming up from Ruth Moody and the band on BT. Oh.